When it comes to styling, it's basically all about your own personal style and taste. It is easy for us though to be influenced by what everyone else is doing and to follow trends. But I want to talk you through a couple of different things that I look for when I'm putting my setups together and why it's important to put them together in a certain way to make the baby stand out. I want you to go through your studio. I want you to remove everything that doesn't resonate with you, that doesn't match your personal style. There are always going to be different types of clients that are going to book you for different reasons. You know, you're going to have clients that love your style, that love your photographs and really don't care what it costs to hire you. But they're going to book you purely because they love everything that you do. They're the type of clients who will sit in your studio and say, whatever, do whatever, I love it all. And then you're going to have clients that have heard you're the best. They're going to come in and they're going to want a particular style of photo. I've had those clients. They'll sit there and say, no, we don't really like hats. We don't like headbands. Just, you know, white. Do you have anything that's white? No, not really into props. So it's all about listening and filling your space with items that you can use for any type of client. But it is still very important that you stay true to your own personal style and brand. Quite a few years ago, I walked into my studio after a session. I was cleaning up and I was putting away some items that I really did not want to use throughout that shoot. But my clients had seen them and insisted that we use them. And then it dawned on me, well, they wouldn't use them if I didn't have them in my studio. So what I did was pull everything out that I didn't like. There were times when I would have my, bas my basket of hats next to me and I'd sort of say to them, have a look through if there's anything in there that you like, pull it out and we can, you know, we can include it in the shoot. And they would pull out these hats and I'd almost be sitting there cringing going, please don't pick that hat, please don't pick that hat. But I did have some hats that were in my basket that were given to me as a gift and I think that emotional connection really stopped me from actually removing them from my studio. But I had to be very honest with myself and, and look at everything and go, does that identify with my own personal style and taste? And that's a question that you've got to ask yourself. The other thing that I really want you to do is start working on building your selection of props based on what you've already got. So it's gonna be easy for you to find lots of different things that are gonna work well with the colors in the blankets that you've got to use as your backdrops. So it is lots of fun. It is a great way to get out of the office and practice play and get inspired about what you can create. So have fun and I can't wait to see what you show me next.